There are plenty of proud parents sharing their infants. What? The videos of that we're about to see in like not even five seconds are exactly that. The result of an iPad kid is at least 85% on the parents, if not 90. I'm being too generous with 85. What causes an iPad kid? This is what causes an iPad kid. It's literally the parents giving birth to the child and immediately being like, See that? Shiny, shiny. Ooh. Ooh, see the, see the colors here? Nice. Look at that. Look at that. You can just tap it. You can swipe. Wow. <laughs> That's so sad. I love how the dude in the title added the laughing till I'm crying emoji like this was comedic. I know I did laugh. It. It's like they're being molded to become like future consumers of technology. <laughs> this is Apple's <laughs> true plan. <laughs> and this is not the only video, too. This is another one. Baby using iPad while sleeping. <laughs> you know how like our parents show us like little pictures and videos of us like playing in snow? You know, like, messing around with, like, food on a tray. Like, uh-oh, he's a little messy. Here you go, little Timmy. But what if your kid actually does smart stuff on it? Hey, then cool. If you're on Duolingo on an iPad growing up, and that's, like, one of the reasons why you're on the iPad, okay? Not to watch the latest episode of Skibidi Toilet, then hey, okay? If you're learning seven languages by seven, Okay, respectable, respectable. You know, I'll push that to my kid. And let me explain how I'm a part of this problem. At my job, I sell phones, tablets, watches. I sell everything technology to people. Every now and then, I have the occurrence where a mother comes in with their children. They either have iPads already throwing them around the store. He was at least five. Four or five. Like, pushing six. And he threw his iPad across the store, crawled on all fours towards it, just to start playing a game. And there was other customers in the store, too. It was... And guess what I did? I sold her that iPad, baby. Ooh! A line in the pockets, baby! Bro, you know what I had growing up? I had the sticks that looked like, like different types of guns. I'm locked in. It's game over. I was John Wick. iPad toddler tantrum 13 years ago. Was this the first iPad kid? This was the start of the infection. This was patient zero. Oh no. He's already starting tantrums. Man, they kick in quick. He must be terminated. He's already infected. Little do they know, it would affect development by a landslide. Generation iPad, 10 years ago. What Happy do they say? and healthy. These are the stock answers most parents give when asked what they want for their young children. When deep down, what they really want is for them to be quietly occupied. For centuries, that was achieved through rocks and sticks and imagination. Exactly, bro! And TV, and now we have the iPad. Give me that one stick. Smartphone. It's game but over. While they are great restaurant the distractions. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. All those growing little brains. That rifle-shaped stick. Thank you, iPad. There are plenty of proud parents sharing their infants. What? Thank you, iPad. There are plenty of- You literally gave birth to that child seven hours ago, and you show him an iPad. Proud parents sharing their infant's touchscreen skills on YouTube. Uh, show me Word World. Okay. Where'd you go? Oh. Okay. Right there. Good job. Oh. Yeah. When it's taken away, you often get this. Batteries run out. <laughs> In a recent survey, 70% of parents admitted to letting their kids use their user-friendly devices. But 
some worry about what oh, it's doing nah. to their tiny developing brains. The iPad didn't even exist three years ago, so there's no hard data yet. Is there a way to like weaponize children? By weaponize children, I mean like hone them into like the next Elon Musk using technology. I feel like I would use technology good. Is it shrinking their attention spans, ruining their eyesight, or perhaps stunting their social skills? All right, no, you're already playing on that. No, <laughs> Meet Devin, nine, Delaney, seven, oh, and Dalton, no. who's four. They are savvy digital divas. Bro, I didn't have a phone until Delphi. ninth grade. We asked them to see what would happen if they go. I don't know iPad why I'm surprised. Phone free for a month. You heard me. Cold turkey. So you say Cold bye -bye, turkey iPhone. for a month. Bye iPhone. Say bye iPhone. Bye, Bro, go outside, iPhone. kick a rock bye, around. Bye iPad. That's you all can't I play had. With them anymore. Okay. Okay. Totally I told this story before, but like I legit claimed trees in my yard as my own. And if I saw a bird build a nest up there, I climbed the tree, made sure the nest was clear, and I legit knocked the nest out of the tree because that was my tree. I claimed the tree. It was my tree. I wouldn't do that nowadays because the bird probably took some time to actually make that nest right and they had to remake it in another tree. That was also mine. The girls were left to play with their analog toys and had to resort to imaginary play. So Devin, that's not a real Devin, iPad. What is that? This is my book light. Um, that is yeah. sad. Center tested something known Traditional as Traditional toys versus a normal First, iPad. First, the kids aged three to five are Give given them a iPads Lego pack. to play with. The grown-ups call their names and see how readily they respond. Jackson, what are you playing? I would like to see you make the letters. Touch the screen Jackson. with your finger. Bro, give these kids some Lincoln Logs and some Jenga. Dude, I can't tell you how many, like, wars that I had with Legos and even, like, stick figures on a sheet of paper. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where I built, like, the Roman Empire on one half of the sheet of paper and then, like, the modern military with, like, Marines and everything and helicopters on the other side of the sheet of paper and I made them both fight to the death until there's one dude standing. Serena, what are you matching? Serena. Meanwhile, the only toddler who managed to resist its magnetic pull never fully tunes out her environment. Vivian, do you want to come play with the iPads? No, you can keep playing that if you'd like. Oh Next, yeah, the tablets that's, are confiscated. That's a real kid right oh, there. Sad, they're going away. Non-brainwashed. It seemed to the researchers that the toddlers become more verbal, more social, more creative creatures. Exactly. I like pancakes. I like pancakes. Tova Klein specializes in toddler social and emotional development. You see how much their vocabulary has gone up. How tall is that? Dude, this feels like a like a like a weird test. Is this normal in like classrooms nowadays? Do they have just a one-way mirror wall where they where they sit behind it and analyze the children? Emotional development. This seems like some like SCP like weird testing, like some CIA type stuff. Vocabulary is gone. Am I the only one to notice that? That is that normal? Klein says the more you use a device to calm your kids down, the less likely they are to learn to do it themselves. It's okay to get upset. I'm kind of concerned about it. that. And this is a way to stop them in their tracks. Okay, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. So if you never learn that skill because you're constantly pacified with an iPad, you're not learning the skill of coming right. down from a tantrum. Right. Exactly. But tablets aren't passive, they're interactive. And that's the intriguing twist. Because long term... Dude, you're, you're really beating him. Tablets aren't passive, they're interactive. And that's hey, yo, the chill, man, twist. chill. Let's give our kids iPads. Yippee, yippee, they'll learn, yeah. And look at them now. 